Hi, how are you anyway? I'm here. I'm ready. You're good? Yeah. How's, uh, how's things with yourself and with the band? You all okay? Yeah, we're all okay. Uh, despite uh, the COVID situation, we had uh, we recently came back from Poland actually last week, and we had an issue with one uh, member of the band, the drummer Ricky. He had uh, problems with his uh, uh, COVID. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Passport. Co no, no, not that. But from his, uh, you know, we're part-time musicians. So we have right. we don't make you know a salary out of playing you know two two or three shows during two years. So we need to have a job. Yeah. And and from his point of view, uh, uh, his uh, company that he works for, his they said it was too risky for him to travel. So they have yeah. some kind of policy against that. So we were really put against the fence there. And we tried to get the gig uh, postponed in Poland, but uh, they had already done so many things. It was too late to change it. Yeah. So, so um, we actually ended up uh, doing the gig with a Polish drummer. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he got the, some MP3s and some click tracks and stuff uh, on Tuesday, and we played uh, Saturday. Oh my God, he's got to be good then. Yeah, he was a really professional, professional drummer, awesome drummer. I mean, not... Rick, Rick is uh, our first choice, of course, but for this short period, doing what he did was amazing. Uh, that is, that is absolutely. Uh, so and we're all lucky. I mean, we we felt good about it, and and uh, the promoter felt good about it, so. We, we didn't want to cancel, you know? Yeah. It, no, it would, have, would have been okay to postpone, but not canceling. So we we, yeah. we, we, we went with a second option there. It, it seems to, um, once again, because of this new variant, a lot of bands now just seem to be uh, started to cancel 2022s and... Uh, it's I, terrible. I mean, in the in the UK, I mean, things are getting really, really, you know, bad. Yeah. And um, uh, we we don't have any any shows booked yet. We're negotiating with some some shows, but uh, most of our shows they are in the middle of middle of Europe. And we yeah. hope we hope those uh, shows will still, you know, be carried out. Yeah, uh, we, but you don't know. You don't know. I mean, yeah. today it's uh, it's crazy. Well, fingers crossed they they happen and uh, yeah. we could get back to some normality very very soon. Yeah, I I wish people would take the shots, you know, so we yeah. we would get rid of this. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, so let's start right at the beginning. What music did you listen to growing up, and can you remember? your very first either record or CD you bought? Uh, I, I started out, you know, I, I'm, I'm still, but I, I'm, when I was younger, I listened to, you know, the popular music that was going on on the radio and, and such. You know, when I grew up in Sweden, there was only two TV channels, Channel 1 and Channel 2, and they were both uh, public service channels. So there was yeah. no commercial channels or anything. And if there were any music playing there, there was like old people's music or Swedish pop music, you know, ABBA and, and stuff like that. So, uh, but but when I got older, like in in my early teens or uh, and stuff like that, I I broadened my taste a little bit. And and you know, there there were some some other uh, media's uh, coming out, you know, MTV and stuff like that started to to build and um, i remember the first real hard rock show i saw was what well, this uh, we had this uh, tv broadcast on uh, 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 i don't know if you have that festivity where you live but we celebrate the the, the 13th of december it's saint lucia's no, it, we it, celebrate. We, yeah we we sing and 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 uh, 
we have a Lucia with the crown with candles and stuff like that. I mean, maybe it's, uh, I think it's incorporated from different, you know, Italian and Swedish and I guess European, uh, you know, uh, old, old um, rituals or something. But we always have that on the 13th of, of December and that's kind of a festivity for us. And, and by that time, they, for the first time, Swedish television, you know, the, the public television sent a heavy metal concert that went on from 10 in the evening till uh, I, I think two or three in the morning the day wow. after. And that was Judas Priest, Def Leppard, Crocus, uh, all of these bands, except uh, Ozzy Osbourne. I can't remember all of them now, but that yeah. was a real eye-opener for me when I was like 14, 15, something like yeah. that. And I really got hooked on, on, on uh, metal. But uh, regarding to metal, I think the, the, the first album that really got me into it was uh, Accepts uh, Restless and Wild, actually. When I heard that song, Fast as a Shark, you know, yeah. and I mean, that was what the hell is going on you know yeah and, uh, yeah from then on it was uh, i was a heavy metal addict <laughs> <laughs> yeah my uh my first uh dip into um into rock music was kiss yeah uh, i i just i even to this day now i'm i i'm just a massive kiss fan and okay cool and uh, i've I've even flown all the way out to America to uh, to see them on a. I paid for my uh, meeting great on my ticket, and I didn't have a great deal of money, so I flew out. I paid for my flight. I flew out there, got to Omaha, Nebraska, met Kiss, and then In Nebraska of all places. Yeah. And um, I didn't, I didn't have a great deal of money, and I started panicking. And I had enough money to get me because I had to get back to Detroit to fly home. And uh, I took a, gra a Greyhound bus all the way back, and what a journey! It when I got home, I was like, that was absolutely amazing. But at the time, it was so bloody scary. It was um. <laughs> yeah, you were on your own too. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, and uh, fair play. How, how old was you? Oh God, um, this was in uh, two thousand and four, and um, you were like five. Yeah, I well, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I can't even remember what age I was, but I had just uh, left the army, and okay. I, uh, I'd finished out. Um, I went out to Iraq to uh, work for the Americans, and uh, I used my money to uh, to go out and uh, see Kess, and all my money went on uh, the meet and greet. <laughs> but wow. it, okay. yeah. But you Best brought some I've stuff done back quite. home then, I guess. Pardon? You you did get some stuff to bring back home then. Yeah, not not a great deal because I uh, I I didn't on it at the time. They supposed to have sent me um like a a package, but I never got it. Wow. So that's too bad. Yeah. I never but, I never was a, a real. I, I always appreciated Kiss, but I never was a hardcore fan. Yeah. I actually played in a Kiss cover band, you know, with makeup and wig and everything. Wow. Uh, yeah, I played the, the part of uh, Paul Stanley, actually, uh, in, in a Kiss cover band. But uh, I never was really a, a hardcore fan. I like the, you know, they've done many albums, and I like kind of if you put, songs together that i like maybe they come up to two albums i don't know yeah 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 but uh, they've done some great stuff of course but uh, not yeah. my favorite favorite band no but they uh my taste goes all the way from neil diamond 
all the way through to Mayhem and Bayhem. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm also wide in my face. <laughs> yeah. So so there's everything from opera to jazz to whatever you know. Um, with um, with everything which is going on with the pandemic at the mm-hmm. moment, what was it like um, for yourself and uh, the members of the band during um, last year? Well, was um, was many of you struggling with mental um, health issues, uh, with depression, or did um, you focus on the new album? Uh, actually, you know, Sweden didn't really lock down like the rest of the Europe. Uh, we we had a a milder kind of lockdown where the restaurants uh, shut down at eight in the after in the evening and. Uh, you know, you had to wear a mask on uh, commutes and and stuff like that. But we never really locked down like that. We've been I've been working out of home. I have a, a job as a I'm a I'm a key account manager at my job, so I can do most of my job from my my own home and yeah. a lot of a lot of stuff like that. But you know. Um, uh, what really took a toll was that we played our last show before these two we made now this year, but we played our last show in 2020 February, uh, our last uh, live show with the band Evergrey. Uh, we did two Swedish shows in Malmö and Stockholm. And after that, there was a void, you know. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, you know, and um, a lot of close friends got sick. I got sick. I spent six days in hospital, actually. Wow. Uh, because of COVID. Uh, I I, uh, I recouped uh, and, and I'm uh, I'm feeling just as fine as I did before. So I'm lucky, perhaps. But, wow. you know, it, it's taken a toll on everything, you know, and, and all these uh, things that you were looking forward to, festivals and stuff that you were supposed to play, they've been postponed. Yeah. Luckily, we haven't been kicked off, so uh, they will, will happen in next yeah. year, I wish, uh, anyway. Uh, so, and you know, it, it got us time to do these four cover songs that we we wanted to do something uh, else, you know, and just then, because, it, recording cover songs doesn't take that much out of you uh, in in terms of writing songs you know writing songs takes a lot of more effort you know to do something from the scratch yeah but we wanted to you know make sure that people uh, knew that we were alive and and well and kicking you know yeah so we decided to do this four four song ep and release a song a month and and uh, i think it's uh, turned out great and uh, now we even played two shows in germany and poland uh, so i mean we're back on track i, I guess nobody's got any any problems mentally <laughs> what yeah. i know not no. not more than usual <laughs> yes. yeah. i um i i did my review um the week it was uh, being released mm-hmm. and i I put it on in my car, and so I didn't get the chance because, like, sorcerer, right? Click on that, and uh, because I only get the links. So I was driving, and I was I hadn't read that bonnet yet or anything. I just wanted to have a listen in the car. Yeah, and uh, I was driving along, and I was like, "Wow, this is amazing! What absolutely brilliant songs!" And it was only when I got home, I realized they were covers. <laughs> you, you made them your own. Yeah, and exactly. It's a Babylon. I was I was blown away. I was like, oh, my God. I, I actually thought you had just written a song called Gates of Babylon. I didn't oh. realize it was a rainbow song at the time. Oh. And then I was like, yeah. Yeah, it sounded familiar, but it was amazing. And then... When I got home, I, I went into um, the actual files and I was like, good God, they all covers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, we won, you know, if we, we we talked about this, you know, in this or that, we, talk, we looked at, you know, pop songs and, you know, traditional songs. Should we do something with this and that? And 
we we never felt like that would be you know our thing. Uh, we we wanted to do something to pay homage to some of the influences we had, you know, from when we yeah. were, were kids. And uh, there in the group in the band there is uh, uh, quite a wide spread of uh, you know age. Yeah, uh, when we are four, four of us are in in my age. I'm the oldest, but uh, but the other guys are almost fifty or, or turned just fifty, and yeah. we have a Canadian bass player that's uh, thirty seven. So we have different, you know, influences. But we we could reach, you know, we we voted on a couple of songs, you know, and uh, these were the ones that we felt that you know this is. Uh, something that we want to do and it, it's also something that kind of reflects what we're doing today you know in, in melodic wise and and, and yeah. instrumental wise you know so they they are huge influences uh, to to what sorcerer is today you know yeah maybe not in, in the 80s we, you know when we started it was only sabbath and uh, calamas you know and all those other yeah. doom acts count raven and whatever whatnot but today we have our own um, you know there's only me and ricky the drummer left from that period so we got yeah. two new guys on the guitar and and, and the bass player from canada that's crazy so i mean <laughs> so so it, it doesn't sound we have progressed you can say from that point yeah you know? oh, i i give it a nine out of ten i was like i was blown away it was amazing oh. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, it's it was brilliant. And like I say, I I was driving. I didn't have a chance to read the thing. I did um the write up, and uh, I just put it on. And I was I was like, oh my god, this is absolutely brilliant. And it was only when I got back I realized by listening to it and then doing the read up, it's like, hang on, this is rainbow. Mm, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, you you made it your own. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. We prefer, wanted to do that. Prefer. We wanted to do that to, to all of the songs, really. But uh, the Aussie Osborne song, I mean, it was too good to change. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't do that much with it. I mean, I mean, it's us playing, and you know, the guitar solos are different, and my voice, of course. But yeah, the main arrangement stayed the same there. The other songs we we rearrange somewhat, you know. Yeah. Oh, to, to yeah. Uh, absolutely amazing. Look. Do you think you would, um, in the future, go down our route again and do a full covers album? Or... No, no, I don't think so. We're working on a new album now, album number four, and we 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 wouldn't play uh, any cover songs live. Yeah, this is a you know one off. I think, uh, of course, I don't know what happens in the future, but uh, we never intended to be you know, exploring any more than this. This was a, a total COVID absence kind of thing, you know. And, yeah. and uh, now we're, we're, we're looking at the future and want to do a, a magnificent fourth album and, and, you know, keep on striving for uh, whatever goal we, we can reach. I, I, I can't wait to hear the, uh, when it's finished. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got some really spectacular songs. I think it's gonna be awesome. It's not written in total yet. Yeah, uh, we have like uh, six, seven, eight songs that are really, really good, and uh, we, we we will continue writing until we're satisfied. Oh, amazing! I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. Um, on to two uh, uh going on. Um. Have you made any plans for the rest of the year or are you waiting till 2022? And if so, whereabouts um, do you think you'll be starting um, your tours? Uh, we, we're not really a touring band. I mean, we're, we're quite old. <laughs> we, have, we have families and we have bills to pay. And, and yeah. you know, we're not not uh, Iron Maiden, so we, we can't really, you know, afford to uh, go out and play for, uh, you know, two months in a row because there's yeah. kid, kids and family issues. And, and uh, I don't think, you know, I, I did a lot of that stuff when I was in my 20s and, and I'm not 
very in too keen into that. We yeah. have, uh, as for now, we have uh, four or five festivals booked uh, that, that's coming up in 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 uh, spring and summer, and uh, there are talks about some shorter, you know, two weeks uh, in the spring and maybe two weeks in the fall. We will we'll see. Our our booking agency is working on, you know trying to put something together and uh, uh, absolutely we want to to be out there and, and meet the, the you know the fans more yeah. but also uh, not to um, you know we're not we're not um, uh, doing it to, to any price you know uh, yeah. achievable you know we, 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 we need to have uh, sustainability in our private lives you know and and the economy and everything so uh, but but we'll, we'll, we'll you know we will do maybe 20 25 shows next year and that's right. what we'll um, do. finally before you go yeah. um, do you think there'll be any um uk uh dates to it, like a one-off or maybe um bloodstock or download festivals well 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 yeah, well, there are some discussions going on. I can't tell you anything right now, but sure, we are discussing with the UK and some promoters. And I really, really hope that uh, this Omicron thing that's going on in the UK now is uh, fading. Because yeah. if it's going this as it is now, I guess nobody's going to go to UK. I'm sorry, but there is yeah. no way, you know. And um, it, it's too bad, but but we were negotiating, and and uh, we would love to go to UK. I mean, we've never been, and we we heard so much good about UK, and and you know, I, I played. We actually played in Wales once, and that no, was really. I live. Yeah. Okay. You're a Welsh. Okay. Okay. But uh, yeah, we played on that. Uh, what's that called? The. Uh, I don't remember now. Quite Steel quite House. a long time. Yeah, what? Steelhouse Festival? No, it's some some kind of festival that takes place in a, a recreation area uh, in Wales. The, I don't remember the name of it now. It was in, huh? Is it the Eisteddfod? Yeah, could be. We went to Manchester and we drove all the way. I remember. And it was like a, you know, like, um, uh, 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 what do you call it? A trailers, parks and, and stuff like that. And there was uh, a lot of bands playing. I mean, Jolene Turner and a lot of stuff uh, was there. It was great. It was wonderful. It was an, I, I, I don't remember the name of the festival, though. It was it up north? Yeah. Yeah. Mountains I, and I, I snow. I, I, we saw snow I, on the peaks and stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. I, well, I, I, 2016 or something like that. Huh? Hard Rock L. Yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the one. It was great. That yeah. was great. We love to go back to that place. It was beautiful. Yeah. It looks yeah. like something out of Lord of the Rings or something. It was an amazing yeah. country. Well, yeah. I live down south. Um, okay. South Wales. And you should see all the castles, yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah, god! Yeah, 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 yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah. And all these nice, uh, you know, taverns and stuff on the way up there. That was, uh, yeah. We loved yeah. it. We loved those it. Uh, those festivals on the campsites are brilliant. They are yeah. so much fun. And yeah. um, I, I was going. Uh, I was. I've never been to it, but I was going one year. But. Um, Ace Freely was going to a headliner mm -hmm. and, he, and he pulled out and okay. uh, just before I, I bought my ticket. So he's touring in Sweden this summer. Yeah, he's actually playing. Uh, we've got a festival down south uh, called Steelhouse Festival okay. and he's headlining okay. that. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. Uh. It's uh, well, let's uh, cross cross fingers and hope that things will pan out, you know, and, uh, and yeah. not uh, uh, <laughs> we don't have to do this so much longer. It's uh, horrible. Yeah, this has been absolutely a pleasure. It's been brilliant speaking to you. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, um, good luck with uh, whatever dates you've got um, planned. And I can't wait for the fourth album. I really can't wait. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll right. get you into uh, get you over to Wales. Uh -huh.